For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson. I'm here on stage. It's a bit of a secret now, but we spent the day with Bay Area's own Larry June. Went to his pop-up. We hear a sound check, and we spent the day with him. Let's check it out. You know, I ask artists, each stage of their career is a certain type of uh, description, is a certain type of thing, it's a certain type of season. What season would you describe yourself to be in when it comes to your career? Man, I'm on, I'm on the ground, man. The ground season. Really? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on the ground with the people. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the, the most crucial time. Really? You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't too big, I ain't too small. Mm -hmm. I'm right there with the people. And uh, I call it ground patrol. Ground patrol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, we're trying to see it's, it's a hump in the game. Mm -hmm. You make it past this hump, legendary status. You know what I'm how saying? big? How big do you want to be? Do you want to kind of stay in this lane? Do you want the the mainstream appeal? What is it that Larry June wants? I just want to be able to uh, do what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and create an income, take care of my family, and uh, stay healthy. I don't really care to be, you know, the biggest artist in the game. I, I like I like being able to go to Whole Foods and right, right. you know say ride my bike and shit and uh and go to certain places where I can just be me. So like how how hands on are you when it comes to like designing your merch and designing so things like that? I approve it. This guy right here, he yeah. actually does a lot of the designs. Word. Right here, this is the guy right here, numbers. Sudden slight. Yes, sir. I love it. So he like been behind the scenes, but yeah. You know, it, um, it comes from it comes from my brand and right. um, get the ideas and they bring you, it to life. You got me. the vision. I got the you vision. You got the man. vision. That's the most the important. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Good job, Complex. Let's go. <laughs> we here. They brought the helicopter out just to see what was going on. Yeah, it was, it was like, that's organic, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just doing numbers. Yeah, and it's freezing cold in Atlanta out here. Man. Look, it's super peaceful. People hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Healthy people with their families. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a nice day in LA. Now, this is not the only thing you got. We heading the sound check here in the field. Yep. You got sound check in a minute. Yeah, because you got a show later tonight, so yep. we're going to head that way. The thing that, that sticks out to me the most about your career is your the, how prolific you are and just turning out projects and just getting out songs and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Is your recording process still the same? Because I was reading a profile at one point, you kind of take two hours to record each day. Is yeah, that, I, yeah, I do the same shit. Do the same shit? I do the same shit. I wake up early and I, uh, the first thing I do now, I brush my teeth and I just record for a minute. Yeah. Or I wake up like five in the morning before my son get up. Right. Record to like uh, five to like seven, seven thirty. Right. Getting ready for school. Yeah. Get them to school by eight. I love that. And then I uh, drop them off and I record some more if I feel like it and yeah. shit. But I just kind of just go with the flow how I feel and shit. Right. You know what I mean? What I like about it is, I, it gave me time to go out get a little inspiration and do different things. And right. When I do come and get back to the studio, it's there ain't nothing to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not get out real quick, you know what I'm saying? Because you kind of drawing from all your experiences on yeah. tour. Yeah, nah, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm taking away, taking a break from recording, so right. like, it's like, uh, not driving your favorite car for a minute. Yeah. You jump back in and you just, you just appreciate it a little more, you know what I'm Exactly. Saying? You, uh, you mentioned here and there about like the idea of like, living your life without paranoia. Yeah, yeah. Do you still free, feel that free way? Free of fear. Yeah, free of fear. Do you still feel that way? Man, I'm good now. Yeah. I, that, was, that, was a, that was a stage, you know, yeah. the stages in life. And uh, I don't worry about the things I used to worry about no more. So I'm thankful yeah. for that. Do you think that was you entering like this, I guess, new notoriety and fame? Yeah, and it, you know, like, you know, doing different things and you know, it's, it's more it's more peaceful for me now. Yeah. So I know exactly where my income coming from. I know, you know what I mean? Uh, the process to do it. I know my numbers before they go come. I'm not worried about too much when it comes out more. And, and you know, do other shit and, right. and get my shit out there. I, I didn't want to be sitting in jail with, a, with no, yeah. no motive and shit. Anybody you haven't worked with that you're dying to work with going forward? Um, not yet. I've been work. I work with a lot of artists. I've been wanting to work with. I ain't yeah, lie. I'm from Texas, mm -hmm. and listening to Orange Spread, I felt like there was this Texas influence. For within sure. It. Two songs in particular. The song with Trade the Truth, and then Wait on Me felt like some Zero shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I wasn't. In I the wasn't. Six, in the six a.m. in Sausalito, yeah. the shop. 
For sure, big inspiration uh, come from Houston, Texas. You know what I mean? Yeah. I fuck with Texas heavy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love Texas. I, all that, everybody you name, yeah. I fuck with them heavy. You know, you know DJ um, Mr. Roger produced a few joints on that. Yeah, yeah. Texas, Houston legend. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it wasn't even, it, it was just the production. Right, yeah. You know, the production and shit, and um, the production always steered me in a certain direction. Yeah. What's the name? The, the Grand Nash Chronicles of yeah. Me Train Truth, Trey the Truth. Uh, the song was 50% done when I got it. Uh, um, Mr. Rogers sent me the song with the sample on the hook already. Right. It was me, it was off another song, but yeah. the hook was on there. It had to been, it was, yeah. been the block, right, the right. Grand Nash shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I just put my verses on there, and, and uh, the 6 a.m. in South Slito, the way it came on was just so, it was a vibe. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, like, it, it wouldn't be right if I just was the, just the rapper had the vibe on there. So, you know, the vibe was just there. Exactly. For sure. You know, I'm noticing that, like, like you mentioned with Alchemist, it seems like artists are starting to keep you in mind. Mm -hmm. When you're not even there, they're like, okay, I think Larry could be good on this track, yeah, yeah, or I yeah. think he's good with this yeah, song. Yeah, it's starting to happen, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Do you ever think to yourself that your style is very unique? It sounds sure. very particular to you? For sure. But with that, you run the risk like of somebody that. trying to take your style. Do you ever worry about that? No, I don't think that. It's gonna be very hard. Right. Because they can't. I'm 100% myself. myself. Like, so it's like, you got to change your whole life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I right, do this right. shit in my sleep. It's just natural to me. It's just what I do. It's just me. I feel like your personality is this thing that will continue to transcend. Whether you're doing music or not. Yeah. Do you want to like eventually down the line like make clothes or make movies or whatever the case may be or those things? And man, I'm a hustler, you? man. I just want to be able to sell something. <laughs> right, that's real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I can sell some shit and, and be there for the people and innovate shit and make shit cool. Yeah. I, I'm, I make shit cool. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I make oranges cool. I make Riding bikes cool. Right. I made going to Whole Foods cool. It's just some shit that I, in the in the you know in the in the rap community. Yeah. I mean, you in the in the coming coming from where we come from coming from the hood and right. shit and and um and, and showing the, our people a different lifestyle. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. So you know what I mean I feel like as long as I can just do me and, and, and sell some shit. I like yeah. selling shit, man. It's, it's it's very fun to me. Larry, been with you most of the day. Yeah, man. From the pop up to the venue and sound check. Now just moments before you go tear down the stage. Mm -hmm. Walk me through how you feeling right now. I'm feeling good, man. You know what I'm saying? Ready to go do numbers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hit this stage. You know what I'm saying? I feel I feel thankful. For sure. Sold out show in LA. The Wilton, legendary venue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh shit, that's wanna kill it, man. I wanna do a good job. And you know what I mean? I'm feeling good today. 